Hello everyone. I've got a little bit of a different video this evening. I'm showing you what I was able to acquire last weekend. I actually got it from my daughter who bought it at a thrift store for ten dollars to put her husband's tools in in the basement and he didn't like it so I gave her twenty dollars for it and brought it home cleaned it slightly it's got a little rust on the front of a few drawers at the bottom it's all metal obviously vintage uh, uh, some uh, some age on it. I'm not sure what it would have been used for, but I've spent the last couple of hours making labels for each of the 27 drawers. And so I have been organizing and reorganizing for three days now. Getting rid of stuff that I'd had for four or five years and don't need any more crap stuff that is so what I'm going to do is just a quick run through and I actually started over here on this right side and I'm going to just pull open each drawer and give you a quick rundown of what's in it so we have punches and I'm sorry but the light's right over my head and so my the shadow of my hair will be in here so punches and my silent silencer more punches book pages this includes uh, music pages I have a few f um, German I guess it is book pages here a piece of a dictionary uh, cut another dictionary that's really old and a McCall's pattern um, to use for ephemera at some point in time. Miscellaneous smalls does make a little bit of a noise sometimes. So I have a, just a few little odds and ends. There's a couple of, uh, I think, Tim Holtz dolls and just odds and ends stuff. And then some frames that might make their way onto a cover of a journal one of these days. Uh, this is daily coffee and tea, and this is paper. So we got a whole pack of the wax paper here, some coffee filters, and this is the only empty tea um, paper that I have, but I have a whole bunch of dried ones that I still need to empty the tea from. And here we have doilies, and then these are the doilies that will fit in this drawer. Now I have giant doilies. And now I don't remember what I did with them. That was like yesterday. Okay, so we have paper bags um, that I can cut down to use. I'm sorry, I think I'm pointing the camera one way and talking another. But anyway, paper bags in here. And then down here is tissue. So I have some that's still in the package, some that's loose. And uh, so that's tissue. Okay, let's go back up here. Paper scraps. I do have more, but I had a lot of my stuff in decorative shoe boxes, and this is just something I had gathered. I actually picked, uh, packed my paper scraps up about three weeks ago and mailed to my daughter in Indiana. Okay, so this is index cards. Uh, so, and they're all blanks. Uh, now there's, in this stack is, there's postcards, vintage postcards, in the layers between um, the dividers, but I haven't taken them out yet. Okay, next drawer is here sheets. Um, I have a whole lot more to go in this drawer, but uh, these are envelopes that have been cut down that, ha cut down that has a um, the clear sheet and just different um, this was like an old photo album and it's got these little bitty clear sheets in and then this one 
Yeah, I bought it at Goodwill in 2019. Never used anything out of it, but it's full of clear sheets. So I still have more to add to that door. Then we have vintage documents. This is stuff that I have found in the public domain that I have printed and will get coffee dyed and turned into ephemera. So I have seven collections here of stuff that will be used at a later time. Um, this is uh, vintage postage stamps, uh, envelopes. Um, I have I don't know if you can see these. These are little vellum uh, envelopes that have stamps inside. And there was a collection. There's all of these that are in this little part. And then if you can see all of these back in here. I got those in a little box about two years ago for two dollars. Okay, then to finish, just a just a handful of random stuff that I've started, got interrupted, or took a trip to see my parents three hours in another state and just didn't get back to it, things like that. Then I have some paper pads. Most of them are vintage. Um, sales book, um, invoice book, some uh, bridge um, score sheets and a few other things in there that are just like paper pads. And spare buttons. This is stuff that um, I bought a lot of this just in bulk. Uh, like at the thrift stores. 50 cents and stuff and stuff like this in the little button um, pockets as well. Um, this is probably only about a tenth of what I actually have, but that's what I had out here in my craft room. I have a craft closet where I have more bulk, if you can believe it. Oh man, I missed. I forgot to do the stencils. Um, okay, so in this drawer is small stencils. Um, some I use when I paint. I paint clay pots and some I use on that, but these that's one's vintage and then underneath is some that I made myself design and cut out. Okay. Now we have um card catalog blanks or you know people know this as Rolodex, but that's a brand name so I didn't want to put that on my little thing here. Painted book pages. Um, these are all dictionary pages right now, but just uh, uh, using a little paint and splatter and just playing really when I was bored and didn't have uh, any real thing going on. Uh, book pages, uh, not pages, but pockets and different little book page envelopes and things. Uh, freezer paper napkins. These are uh, napkins that I have um, adhered to freezer paper or adhered the freezer paper to the napkin, I suppose would be correct. And then here I have craft paper napkins uh, using craft paper on the back side and then book page napkins and there's a couple of magazines in here also but these are all napkins that have and back to the book page and then here are some napkins I love these these have been backed onto fabric so this one is like a um, linen drapery that I cut up and um, frayed and then this one is a cotton as well as this one is just a plain cotton hot sheeting. And let's see. I was thinking I had something else down here, but I guess I don't. Just those two. Oh, I, this is what I was going to show you. Um, these, these have napkins decoupage. This one, this one, and this one onto this um, linen 
but it's a clear napkin and what I did was back uh, in the spring when my hydrangeas started to bloom and then this is a, a rose bloom with my lemon bulb leaves um, I flattened them with an iron between uh, uh, I think two pieces of napkin and then decoupaged a clear not clear but the white sheet of napkin over top of it just playing seeing what I could do with the uh, napkins then I have what I'm calling bulk blanks these are seed packets these are um, tea bags um, just different types of paper blanks in bulk and then uh, the bottom one is a uh, greeting card cutout. So this is just different greeting cards that I've cut out pieces from little tags and circles and all that sort of thing to use as ephemera. So hopefully I wasn't too much out of shot with all of that. But uh, yeah, it's um, 30 and a half inches wide. It is 37 inches tall and it's 13 and a half inches deep so I have organized so much and made so much more room uh, to put more stuff um, yeah so I guess I'll be going to the thrift store this weekend um, thank you all for watching and this is Rebecca at Papatry de Chois, and I'll be back in a few days with another video. Have a good evening.